Hello and welcome to Unicycle.com videos. Today it's something we've waited for a long, long time. We've got the penny farthings back in. So I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing and show you what's in a box, show you what the, the changes are. So this is a Mark V and I'll show you the difference between that and the Mark IV. I'm going to open it, but I'm not going to do that on the video because it's embarrassing me having to dive in the box. So one second, I'll just get everything out. Okay, magically everything's out to the box and I had all the fun diving in and out, but we've got it out. So this is what you get in the box. Not much for a big box like that, but you get a big wheel. Um, so one of the big changes in the Mark IV to Mark V are the forks. Now the forks have gone up in size, so these are considerably beefier. Not we had a problem before, but through some research and some stress analysis, which was done when we built the tandem. So I'm, you've probably seen that in the videos where we did the, uh, the tandem penny farthing. If you haven't seen that video, do have a look and I'll put a link in below because it's hilarious. But when we were doing that, we found that there was some movement within these forks, even though this is the stiffest penny farthing part fork on the market at the moment, we've gone stiffer again. The stiffer it is, the tighter the turns, faster it'll go. So that's quite an improvement. You've probably heard it's got the spokes in it. So you get two or three, I can't remember exactly, spokes with the penny farthing. Not that you need it, they'll never break. Um, just as a rule, I tend to put an elastic band there around them when I ride or I take them out. You don't really need to have them in there, but they're in there. And this is a cap you can take off. So there's one of the big changes there is the wheel. Let me just uh, put that down a sec. I will show you the other things. So, other thing that's a difference, although to be honest, you won't see the main difference here. Um, you will notice though, new graphics. So, new head badge, new graphics down the side, little QR code on the back, a lot cleaner. Um, so we're really happy with the graphics and the way it looks. So that's, that's a change. And the, the other big physical change is the foot pegs. So the foot pegs now have, thank you, like a penny welded on the top. So this is so that when your foot goes on the pegs, you can't slip off sideways. They also comes with some grip tape on it as well. The other difference um, is that the pegs have moved back slightly. So they've moved back by 10 millimeters, just so that your foot has more space to the tire when you're, when you're mounting, which will, will make it easier and safer to mount. Um, there is a very, very small geometry change with the, this curve. It's so small, you guys won't know, but I know because I did the drawing. But there is, there is a difference here. So, so there's, there's a big change there. Well, there's a change. Um, rear forks, absolutely no difference at all. Even the same brakes are being used as the Mark IV. So they're the same. Um, handlebars, they are the same. I believe they have actually made them from a lighter uh, material. So um, I need to double check on that, but I believe these are actually like, they certainly feel lighter. They will be, it's 6061 aluminium, it's hardened to T6. It's not a problem strength wise and certainly not with these curves in it. But um, they're, they're lovely and comfortable. As always, we've got the hand grips on the end. I'll come to that. Um, rear wheel, identical. No difference between the Mark IV and Mark V. They're the same. Beautiful rims. They are quite fantastic. Now, there is a difference here between the Mark IV and the Mark V, but you won't know. It, the difference is this little little bit here. That's the only difference. Okay, so let's just do a quick dive into the box here. Um, handlebar tape, yeah, same as. There's the headset, same as. Brake, same as. Stem, same as. Handlebar grips, same as. 
pedals, they're same as, so no difference there. Now, the bit I am getting out now, there is a difference, the rear peg. You will see it's made in the same style as the double peg. So it's got the penny on the end and a little bit of grip tape. So there's a difference. Um, again, generally very liked because you can position it left and right, but really good. Um, you've also got, it comes with pedal washers. Just a slight change, all of the VCX Plus do now. So that's a standard change. Okay, I will leave it there. And what I'll do, I'll go and build this for you. We're going to photograph this. So this will be the one that's going to be in the photographs. So I'll build up fully and give you another little show around what's, uh, what it looks like complete. Okay, we've got it together. So this is a 52 and you can see the scale of it. Um, I can't ride this, it's way too big. Um, but I want to show you it complete. Um, you can see the forks looks very, very similar to what they were on the Mark IV, but they are beefier. Um, foot pegs, see, look lovely. They've got their, their grip tape on, got a nice little profile on. And if I put the wheel here, you can see there's considerably more clearance than there was on the, on the Mark IV. So quite an improvement there. Um, Went together very well actually, uh, which is good. So we've just got the photos up on the website, at least the main photo up. The other ones will, the detailed ones will come later on. But uh, anyway, that's pretty well what I wanted to show you on the, um, the unboxing. So thank you for watching. Please do the normal, like the channel, like the video, comments. Love the comments, so please do comment on it. So thank you for watching. See you at the next one.